guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here it's lovely to have you but if you're old hey boo it's nice to have you back today we're gonna make this easy yet delicious and decadent melt in your mouth pepper steak now this is one of the easiest recipes you'll find around so trust me if I say you're gonna be hooked to this recipe forever so here are all the ingredients that we're going to need so we're seeing everything apart from the steak which i'll be showing you soon um so this is both for the marinade and then to prepare our meal so let's get right into the video first we're going to start cutting our vegetables i like to cut my vegetables first before getting on to touch the meat i'm using today some red bell peppers yellow and then the green so I'm going to cut this and then set it all aside and then we can go on with cutting our other vegetables. So when it comes to making pepper steak, the pepper is supposed to stand out. So the bigger the better. But I have kids at home so I don't like to make it so big not to frighten them. Just so they can try and get one or two into their mouths, you know. Yes, so the sizes, the bigger the better. We're going to go through the same process for all of our peppers both red yellow green and it's going to be very colorful and a beautiful dish Our peppers are done now we're gonna go on with our onions now I'm using some red onions you can use any type of onions you want but I love the color that the red onions adds to the peppers like it's so beautiful also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet it's a good time for you to do that now please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up leave any comments or questions or um, suggestions in the comment section below and i'm going to leave all the ingredients for this recipe in the description box down below the description box is right below this video by where the title is there's a down arrow by the title just click on that arrow and you have the description box where you can find all the recipes So I'm going to grate my ginger because I find grating it very easy all the time. So I'm not using the very, very small grater because I don't want it in the paste form. So this is as though I minced it finely and that's perfect for me. I was thinking of what to make for dinner and I just went back to my chicken wings video that I recently uploaded. If you haven't seen that yet, kindly check that. I'm going to leave the link to it in the description box below. And then I saw a comment where someone asked me to make steak in my next video. So that was what inspired me to make this recipe. So you guys, I've been watching and reading every single comment. So keep your comments coming, okay? Now we're going to roughly chop our garlic and then set it also aside and we can go on to our steak. Let's talk about meat so there's a couple of things that you should um, um, put in place to make sure that your steak is going to be very tender because this is going to be cooked in high heat it's not going to be cooked for long so if your meat is is hard or if your meat is tough it's not going to be very enjoyable okay so when i went to my butcher i said i wanted a tender meat and he suggested that i take ribeye the ribeye is very tender it's juicy and very flavorful so when it's cooked on high heat it works very well because it's going to be on for just a couple of minutes and this is it it looks beautiful i just loved it i just loved how it came out it was just perfect and also you should notice the grains of the meat the grains for this particular meat is horizontal if i should say so i'll be slicing my meat in the vertical side on the vertical side just like so okay so i'm i'm slicing the meat on the opposite side of the grain of the meat and that is also something we should notice or we should take note of if we want to have our meat coming out very perfectly 
So what I'm trying to achieve now are some thin slices of the meat. So the thinner the better because again we don't want it to be too thick that it's going to take longer to cook or it's going to be any form of hard or tough whatsoever. So we slice it as thin as we can. We'll also be adding some baking soda to our beef. Baking soda is a tenderizer so it's going to help our beef even tenderize some more. You can just imagine this is a perfectly tender dish. Is, is delicious the steak pepper steak is going to come out so beautiful and yummy you will enjoy it very well so now that we are done cutting our beef we're going to add that to our bowl and get on with our marinade so to that i'm adding some black pepper i'm going to add some complete seasoning and then beef stock cube i'm going to add the baking soda here as well also some crushed garlic and ginger this is what we crushed early on you're going to reserve part of that for the stir fry so don't add all i'm adding some dark soy sauce i don't have light soy sauce it would have been better to mix both but i don't have light so i'm just using a little bit of the dark if you have both dark and light mix them together now i'm adding some honey this is not going to make our dish sweet it's just going to add to the beautiful and nice flavors that we're going to develop also i'm adding some corn flour corn flour is going to help all of these ingredients or all these spices get onto our beef and make it look velvety and delicious i've also added some virgin olive oil and then some salt to taste now i'm going to get in with my clean hands and massage all these beautiful flavors onto our beef and then we're going to get ready to stir fry it's so simple and easy once you're able to prep everything i mean it's just a go 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 and your dinner is ready now we're going to need some sauce around our steak so we can use it to eat our rice so we're going to get on and make some slurry now to a bowl i've added some water the rest of my um, soy sauce the rest of my black pepper and then i'm going to add the rest of the cornstarch to it i'm going to leave all the um, measurements for the ingredients in the description box below so do check it out or you can just eyeball it and then do something great okay so we mix all of that together and set it aside now we can go on and start frying our beef i'm adding part of the olive oil that we have left into my pan and then i'm going to go on to fry the beef now so i'm adding all of it in there because my pan is big and it can take all of that we are going to fry this. This shouldn't take more than five minutes. Once you see the color of the beef changing, you know it is cooking really nicely. Once the meat hit the pan in about two minutes, my son just came into the kitchen and said, wow, smells so good. I'm like, well, I mean, that's what I'm here for, baby. What's good food if it doesn't smell good? Yeah, he heard that. That smells delicious. <laughs> So our steak is looking good now so we can take it off the pan or out of the pan and then get on with our vegetables so we're going to use one pan to cook everything we don't need too many for this this is very easy and very fast now i'm adding the rest of my olive oil to my pan and that's what i'm going to use to stir fry the vegetables to that i'm going to add my crushed ginger and garlic I don't want this ginger and garlic to brown. I just want it to soften up a little bit. So that's what we're going for. So not long after this, I'm going to add my onions because the pan was really hot, so that should be done. Add the onions and then mix everything together and then just stir fry for about 30 seconds before we go in with the rest of our vegetables. Now look at all these beautiful colors coming together. This looks so good. I just love it. I mean, if it was bigger, it would even be much better because the colors would just be standing out. The peppers would just be standing out on their own by themselves. But this also looks so good. Do what you can do to make everybody in your home enjoy your food. 
So if you have kids, you don't have to make them so large that they won't be able to eat it at all. Okay, now to that, I have added my steak. And then I am mixing everything together. The flavors are just marrying and like having a sweet honeymoon in my pot. <laughs> this is so good. So now it's time to add the slurry. Give it a quick mix because it's been sitting. And then add this. I added part of it and then I left the rest. But I ended up adding the rest because I didn't have enough sauce around the, the steak. So I added all of it, okay, just all of it. So I'm going to leave the, the right quantities down below. Just make it and then have your perfect pepper steak. At this time, my rice is on fire and it's almost getting ready too. So add some salt to taste. And then if you want to be extra like me, add a little bit of chili flakes because I wanted a little bit of heat. That is totally optional. You can choose not to add that and it is still really delicious. But I like the heat, so I like to add the pepper or oh, the chili flakes. Now this is also totally optional. I just added some sesame oil. Now I would have loved to cook with sesame oil for you know make my stir fry with the sesame oil, but I noticed that the flavor of the sesame oil gets lost in the cooking process it doesn't work well with the heat so i like to add it at the last bit and then turn off my my heat and then allow the flavor to just get mixed up or incorporated in my dish and then i take it off now look our dish is ready this you have your delicious decadent melt in your mouth tender juicy pepper steak nothing better than this i'm going to have this with some curry rice so here i'm serving myself today because i want you guys to eat with me if you haven't subscribed yet guys this is a good time to smash that subscribe button and smash that like button and leave all comments in the comment section below my baby boy says i should say smash so guys smash the like button okay and make him happy <laughs> also subscribe to the channel and please do share tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend share my videos share the links to my videos so that others can benefit from this beautiful channel as well thank you so much for your support thank you so much for your attention to my channel I'm very grateful and hopefully we're going to hit a thousand subscribers very soon. Dinner is ready. Please eat with me. You are so invited to my dish. So till next time, keep being loving and be caring and please protect yourself and protect others as well. Ciao.